Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper. Because I'm doing real good things here at Reaper Man. Here we go again with Corey with one of his rants again. He's going to rant about GMS. He's going to rant about the Reaper. You know, with somebody trying to be like him. You know, as Corey said. You know, uh, we all, he's an interesting guy. And we all want to be like him and everything. And... Corey's pussy is hurt. That's what it is. Did we hurt your pussy, Corey? You know, that's what we did. You went on talking about Zoe Williams and the Stephen A. Smith thing and getting emotional. You talked about GMS. You talked about Reaper living in a trailer in Seattle. Come on, man. Your pussy hurt, Corey. Corey, your pussy is hurt. The Reaper is always hurt your pussy. Now... This goes out to all you Corey supporters, you know, that say, this nigga don't be talking about me and this nigga, this, that, and the other. He, he says, I want attention. So, here we go again. Corey Holcomb with his pussy hurt. Your foot can get I want to choose if I want to take a look at someone in particular's stuff. Not really? open up. What is this? Oh, hell no. Right, that's what I I'm saying. Those... It's just I don't what like I said. That. You said what I said. Oh. Anyway, before I, I, I look, I, I just want to say this shit. Uh, the fifty one fifty show been around for a while, and I think the fifty one fifty show is a pretty productive show. How many people we had today in the chat? Nice. Four hundred. What? Because we still have ten thousand four hundred right hey. now. So what I want to say to you guys who keep trying to egg me on to say what you want me to say, addressing buster motherfuckers, just stop, man. Just stop, you bitch-ass niggas. Let me tell you something. <laughs> One day this bust-ass nigga was doing a whole bunch of fuckery, and I found a way to get his contact. He talking about GMS. I can get your contact. If you got a number out there, I'll get you. I'll get your number. Mm. Do you know when I called this nigga and tried to have a man-to-man -man conversation with this nigga? Do you know what this nigga did? This nigga recorded the call and motherfucking manipulated the call. Shout out to GMS, you know, uh, for having the repo on this show. Um, yeah, he's talking about GMS when he called GMS and said that GMS, you know, recorded him, you know. When Corey tried to reach out to GMS and he was harassing GMS just like he done harassed the Reaper. Uh, Corey does this with people he find interesting because he's mentioning me and GMS, right? So Corey finds us interesting too. And this is why he had Pooch call me up and he was having Pooch call GMS and, you know, because he really is a fan of ours. But watch this whole shit that Corey does. He's always doing some whole shit. I told you, you got to pat Corey on his head when he do right. And you got to smack him on his ass when he do wrong. But his pussy is definitely hurt. And this is why he's talking this stuff. Listen to Corey Holcomb. Oh, in a way where it looked all fucked up on the internet. Mm, yeah. I was like, oh. edit it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what the whole ass up. nigga in Minnesota did. Oh, wow. He a whole ass nigga in Minnesota. I think he got something to do with the police. I don't know. But I, I niggas be checking niggas out. I, but this is what I'm saying to all these niggas out here like that who try to get niggas to say what you want them to say. If I do what you want me to do, I'll be like you. Hmm. You trying to be like me. I'm talking about. Be like you. Hey, when that bra take you for all that money, you ain't going to be saying all that. You, that's why you're talking about women and marrying and, you know, uh, they use you. And I agree with your girl, Trina. You know, it's some hoe-ass niggas out here that know how women is. And they still be used by them anyway. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, and you are one of them whole ass niggas because you admit that you's a trick. Come on, trick, tell us something. All you motherfuckers. Yeah, Corey used to be in a storage. Let me tell you something. When, yeah, Corey, yeah, we when was Corey was in a storage, ass shit, that I was. had a news desk that 
I bought from the place ESPN by. Who cares? You had a news desk in a storage, nigga. Who cares that you was in a storage? We ain't never said nothing about you being in a storage, nigga. Long as you bring the funny, I don't care where you at. But you care about that, you hoe ass nigga. That's why you bringing it up. Because some niggas that told you you was in a storage and you moved over there to the coin academy, you, you know. You moved over there to the coin academy because it was probably cheaper than keeping up that storage and all of that. But I think you address the GMS with this. But we gonna let you talk. As they knew we still that. have that. That's beautiful. I love how people just try to do that. Isn't that interesting how people just try to I'm like... I'm talking about like... It was yeah. custom? What? Hell yeah. It was beautiful. I had a news oh, yeah. desk that these it. motherfuckers couldn't afford if they motherfucking started sucking dick on motherfucking <laughs> Santa Monica. <laughs> exactly. And you couldn't afford it either. Because where is it? Where's your office and storage uh, and your office and your studio at, nigga? You went to the Corn Academy. Don't try to act like you this big time extravagant nigga and you got all this money and everything like that. Corey, please. He's a stand-up comedian on the Chitlin circuit. Now, we like you and you funnier than a motherfucker and you got talent. But don't try to act like you this big time nigga. The Reaper done told you that. Every time you try to act like this big time extravagant nigga, I'm gonna smack you on your ass. Well, Motherfucker, y'all motherfuckers trying to. Yeah. Let me tell you something about you, Buster motherfucker. You will never be me. It's only one me. I'm AI proof. Now, this is addressing the Reaper. You'll never be me because he know I'm a real nigga, right? You know, he AI proof. You'll never be me. I don't want to be a nigga like you because you don't stand on what you say, nigga. You be backtracking this shit soon as them people call you up. And you're going to talk about Zoe Williams losing his temper and you're supposed to beat up Stephen A. Smith. The Reaper never said you was gonna supposed to beat up Stephen A. Smith. You know, but Zoe Williams did. But my thing of it is, is I said you should have had a conversation like Ho Williams. Said you should have had a conversation, a three-minute conversation in the corner, you know, uh, wasn't going to take away from your credibility, you know, but you didn't have that conversation because you were starstruck when you saw the nigga. Now, you the one that said, you hoe-ass nigga, when you see him on site, he going to get smacked. So don't say that hoe-ass shit, right, on site, he going to get smacked, and when you saw him, you was cheesing up in his face and throwing chicken up because it's all entertainment, which the Reaper already knew that because you can't fight, nigga. Stop acting like if a nigga stepped to you, what you going to do? Nigga, you cannot fight. You a funny nigga, but you not you cannot fight. Let's continue. They can't AI me. I'm really that nigga. They can AI you because you are one who mimics motherfuckers like me. So just remember that. Who mimicking him, right? If I mimic you, you know, I'll be begging Hollywood for a lick. The Reaper keep it 1,000. The Reaper don't want to be famous. You want to be famous, you know, and you are famous. You got a little bit of fame, but nigga, you ain't Michael Jackson and you don't have ends like it. So stop trying to act like you this big time nigga and I know you're not. Motherfuckers can't understand why I won't give them the attention they want. Mm -hmm. I called out the one motherfucker because that motherfucker did some whole shit just like I knew whole niggas gonna do. Yeah. They looking for, they looking for, look, let me tell you something. I got back in town yesterday. This is some whole shit. I be shit. by myself all day, man. I don't hang with many people. Because you're jealous it's of very niggas. rare that I have company around. When I have company around, I be fretting. Because you don't want them to know your like, secrets. Hey guys, or, hey that, girl, that you a whole ass nigga. Because I'm a loner. You a whole ass nigga. So when you whole ass niggas tell me who my associates are, you don't know me, whole ass niggas. Why don't you just bow down to something greater than yourself and understand I'm something different that's interesting to watch. I'm not what you want me to be, but I'm interesting. You interesting to watch. And we know you not a stand-up real nigga, you know, but you a funny nigga. And we like watching you. That's why we ain't put a foot to your ass. 
everything. That's why you watch me. It's okay to admit that. Everything Trina said tonight was interesting. No, it wasn't. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Boring I'm show, Corey. <laughs> this was a boring show. That's we all know that Darlene is my motherfucker, but she crazy Fra- as a bitch. What what Mar- what Mark can say? Cat raggedy crazy. <laughs> This motherfucker's out here. We're Craig here. Hey, man, Craig just had something to do this I week, know, man. Lord. I mean, yeah, man, why y'all motherfuckers trying to put your Craig go so we can say something? You wanted Trina on there this week, and Craig took the week off. That's all that happened, nigga. Because you want to probably try to get between her legs if you haven't already. Let's continue. Oh, you bust the motherfucker sitting in a motherfucking trailer in Seattle and all that shit. Uh Uh-oh. That's about the Reaper. Because I got a motor home. Oh, you bust the motherfucker sitting in a trailer in Seattle. See, Corey always is keeping up with what I'm doing. You know, all the time. This goes out to all the, the Corey supporters. That's always up his ass. He's always mentioning the Reaper. Y'all niggas, man. Y'all motherfuckers bow down to something greater than yourself and just admit this nigga Corey really the shit. I just naturally hate on niggas, so that's why I say something about him. You don't be having parties at your house? I swear, just from seeing you on stage, it seems like you just... Now, Corey is the biggest hater because Corey hates on everybody. He hates on female comics. He hates on comics in the business, even in this even in this uh, video, he said he can't sit through nobody's show. You know, Corey talks about everybody. He even was talking about Ice-T with the ponytail. With D, D had to put him in check. You know she was going to put him in check with Ice-T because she's still in love with Ice-T. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. But this whole ass nigga talk about everybody. Like I said, you got to pat Corey on his head when he do right and smack him on his ass when he do wrong. Reaper, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper.